Uyen de Balin, Uyen de Balin, do 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 do. Hey, 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 all. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome back to Maple Farm, the Bank Loan Challenge. This is episode two. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fan dilly as usual. How was your guys' day? Mine was a little uneventful as usual. <laughs> not much going on in the Fury household today. Uh, did I not have that? Um, don't I have the automatic? Oh, I don't have it turned on. Does it turn off automatically? That's weird. That's super weird. Um... Nah, not much going on. Just wait until multiplayer Friday tomorrow. Spend some time if you guys get a chance. I'm getting super duper dillyastic excited about multiplayer Friday because we may have a the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Fama Z joining us tomorrow. It's exciting. Oh man. I can't wait. We're gonna get some we already got five permanent guys. Ah, oh, it's so cool. We're gonna be adding some cool mods though, everyone. So, so if, just remember, if you wanna join, it's a free to join. <laughs> Sound like one of those infomercials. <laughs> it's, uh, every mod that we have will be on, now as I adjust my microphone so y'all can hear me, because I can hear myself fine. Um, every mod that we have from the game will be on the in-game mod hub. So, or the FarmingSimulator.com website. So, it'll be... Oops, I can't afford to miss too much. I think I gotta skip a row, because these are awful tight together. That's okay. I can do it. Get this bailed up, and then I've gotta get my harvest started. My This will give um, all of my sheepies some food, because we got lots and lots of grass. I thought about it today, and I thought, well, since we don't need s straw... Do we want to just uh, turn the whole map into grass? <laughs> How cool would that be? <laughs> poor, poor Cavalier Roy would look at this and say, Oh my gosh, he turned the whole map into grass. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> kind of neat. So, we already got, what, four bales or did we get five? I know we fed 15,000. You know what? Let's do this. Let's go get my Cruz de Leon going here. Uh, yeah, because I got 15,000 in this pen. Then I got uh, seven and a half and seven and a half. Right? Let us be sure and check. It's always fun to check. Uh, yep, 15,000 in that one. And seven is, ooh, they've used quite a bit. So, I did notice on one day months, boy, I tell you, they go through food really quickly. So many videos to watch today. It's kind of cool, actually. Um, a lot of time lapses to watch. A lot of people uh, just still playing the game, which is great. Hey, play the way you want to play. It's awesome. I got my own problems to worry about. Man, I'll tell you one thing. On a, on a little wee bit of negativity today, um, YouTube took forever to render my video today. Uh, it was in standard edition. I started uploaded at 6 a.m. in the morning, okay? And I finally got it through standard edition and then high def um, at 10 o'clock. Well, it's 11 o'clock now, right before I hit record. So it took from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. to get it. And normally, it just kept saying processing. Uh, and normally, it's all done within an hour. It's crazy. So we're going to get this little edge one done. This is a nice nice little baler. Uh, yeah, so multiplayer, we got a couple of new mods coming, but only four or five. Uh, we're going to get some... Uh, auto load stuff in even though it's not very realistic the amount of wool pallets and the amount of 
um, what do you call it there, greenhouse pallets and stuff we're going to have on that map. Um, it's definitely going to be advantageous for us to have some auto load. Because if not, you're going to be sitting there literally and just picking everything up nonstop. Which is fine. I mean, it's still not the end of the world, but I, we voted on it. Is this still 180 bales? Okay, good. I just want to make sure they're big enough. Um... Yeah, it's like I said, it's 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 a little off the beaten path as far as realism goes, but on the same token, I think we're going to need it. But we can also play it off that we um, we pick them up with a forklift and then just put them on the trailer that's auto load. I don't know. I put in an auto load for me, the auto load log trailer, because I didn't get anybody that wanted to log, so it looks like Fury's going to have to do it himself, which is fine. I'll keep busy. Um, but usually what happens on multiplayer is I spend my time running for stuff. But I'm sure it'll all work out. I'm sure it'll be great and fantastic and, and, and it'll be a lot of fun, as usual. Uh, I can't wait. I start counting down the days when I hit Thursday. <laughs> I really do. Now, we've already got another 15,000, so we got four, five, six... Eight bales so far. That's uh, around 56. We're going to round down a little bit. 56,000 liters of grass just off the sheep pen alone. So it's pretty cool. I love it. Uh, and then we'll get our harvest done. And then the only reason that I would want to do green is because that's a quick uh, bang for your buck as far as money goes. We won't need the grain for anything because we're not going to have chickens. Uh, we're not going to have any animals except for sheep. Um, so we'll be able to focus our money on, uh, what is it, on pallets that we're going to make, which reminds me, before we head over to do the harvest, I got to go down and buy a water wagon, a water wagon, and get our greenhouses going. Um, so we can do that, that way we can start making some pallets of lettuce. I'm going to try to do as much as I can the same as what we did before. Um, except for just a little more realism. This just seems, this, this just seems right now. And then now I don't have to worry about the update. Uh, when, when it comes, it comes and it won't affect me because the things he's fixing on the map are, um, what do you call it? The cows, everything to do with the cows. It's just I'm not doing cows on this farm. It won't matter. So I can either continue to play it the way it is. I probably will update it. I'll get a kick out of how these sheep just jump right over the, the baler. Um, I probably will still update it, but it won't affect my save game. Um, I'll just be able to keep playing it. And then if I ever want to down the line do a dairy. But I'm going to do a dairy on Riverview version 4 that's coming. Uh, because on the main farm... Uh, there's 2,000 cows just on the main farm alone. Now we're getting some longer ones here. Haha, <laughs> that's not for sure. See that sheepy's just like, uh, no. So it looks like the netting for the grass and the hay bales um, last quite a while because I've done this whole field here and I'm still at 88%. And I only use like two rolls. Now we're adding the twine roll on, and but that's for square bales. And I think think it continues to run like it'll use it um, as you go that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm thinking
This is nice. So one, two, three. Getting ready to finish our fourth bale. We probably will get one more bale, and that'll be it. Uh, so that was, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this will be the eighth bale. So eight bales times seven, 7,500. It's about, oh wait, did I miscount before? Because I put two in the sheep pen here, one in the sheep pen over there, that's three, and one in the other sheep pen, that's four. Five, six, seven, and this one will be the eighth. Yeah, I must count it before because we're going to end up with 56,000, and then I got to roller this field. So I think, right? Is it still say 50%? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to get this done here, and then let's roller this field. Well, we'll get the bales off of it first. Feed the cows with the bales. Or cows. Sorry. Feed the sheep with the bales so they're gone right away. Then we'll roller this field and then we'll get our greenhouses going and then we'll start harvesting. And then it will probably be a couple episodes of harvesting. Oh, I didn't even get a new one. All right, no worries. All right, so leave this bad boy right here for now. Let us buy while well, we're right here. Uh, grass care. Where's grass care? grassland care right this one and we're gonna put a cedar on it because uh if we ever decide to uh if we ever decide to plow these in i won't plow this in because the the uh oops, nice fights with you. um because the sheep are already in it but the other ones if i decide to plow them in uh, we can plant grass with that. We won't need another cedar. Look how awesome this looks. Look at the netting. See that? If I get real close. See your netting? That's your netting that I purchased. That is super realistic. Man, this feels just like it's supposed to. Yep, we're making some wool now, boys and girls. Did that not take? Oh, it filled it. All right, so let's do this then. Go down around. Whoops. All right, so what does that do? Ooh, one more little half bale. And we'll have the other two we can fit into the other pen. Sorry, I gotta fix my steering wheel. I was driving my truck sim today. So I gotta get another little half a bale. See, this is like the perfect little um, yard jockey slash mini telehandler, especially on a small map like this. Um, it is perfect. I mean, I may start using this on... I may start using this on, like, every Let's Play because this little thing is so awesome. It really, really, really is. And this is exactly what you'd see in real life barely can see over.
we go. Now we got one full, one full. 12,500 is what it takes for 100 sheep. Let's go stick this down there and get them, get the, the big pens fed. If we get them fed completely and we end up with like one bale left over, hey, that's great. Off just their sheep pen. So how, how cool is that? here so it's you can see a little bit better yep then we'll come we'll go down by a roller and we'll roll this field real quick and then we'll get the water and then we'll start harvesting we should have enough time i'm hoping hoping here's to here's to hoping yeah let's get this bale mover you're gonna get you're gonna get stab a rooney I mean, just, you would think, like I said, with this big bale on here, this would tip over. But this reminds me so much of a forklift, but with a tunnel handler option. Oh, it's... And these things are super real, too. At the last bale. Okay, good. So, this will be... Let's see how close we are here. Oh, this should... It won't fill them. But it will take them into the red. It should it should last them the whole day. Then we'll mow once our harvest is done. Ooh, I don't want to hit my wheat. Okay. Full, full. At least orange. So. Okay. Not much I can do about it right now until we've got some other stuff to do. Look at this. This will fit right in here nice. <laughs> All right. And then let's, how much did we get already off this? Uh, 13 wool. So, All right. Let's put our baler away. Zip down to the stove. Okay, sheepies. I'll be, I'll be done bothering you here in a few minutes. Soon I'm done rolling in your field. The thing I like about this tractor a lot is when you jump out, it like jumps you out on top of the um, like tire. Super cool. Super cool. Do I have anything in this one? No. So we're going to put the baler. All right. Down to the store we go to pick up our roller. Then we're going to roller that field then, and that's done. And that field's completely done until it grows back. And it should give us 100% fertilized. And then while we're at the store, we're going to buy the water tanker. So we can do that. Then we're going to come back here. Oh, I got to, you know what? All right, let me do this. Otherwise, Fury's going to keep running into that. isn't very realistic running over that pole but I gotta there then we'll come down and we'll start harvesting that and that both wheat fields this time so instead of oat and wheat we have wheat and wheat uh, this one we had last time um and that way it'll give us a little bit more wheat. I mean, technically we could do chickens, but I just want to concentrate on one animal and not have to worry too much about anything else right now. Um, and we'll go from there. I figured, yeah, that way I, I rewatched my video last night and I was talking, setting it up for like 10 minutes and I thought, Wow, how much more could I have gotten done if I wasn't talking for 10 minutes? Because <laughs> we're only 20 minutes in right now, and we already got that field finished bailing, and I'm down here getting ready to roll it. Which reminds me, as we pull into the shop, 
I will purchase the water tanker. Uh, do, 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 I think it's under animals. Animals. Oops. Animals. <laughs> yeah, way over here. We're going to go this trailer here. Um, Capacity. No, we don't want... Guess we'll go 5,000. I don't want... 50,000 in water. That'd be, that'd be ridiculous. Uh, let's go. Is there a Fiat color? Let's go this crimson red just for something to do. Just something different. Then I got to buy a little trailer to load up my Teletruck because I got to come back down here and get some pallets. I mean, I could drive it back and forth. You know what? Let's take... Let's take that cedar off. That doesn't make sense right now. It's just a roller. There. Um, and I want to go a little bit faster since... Uh, Since Wisconsin Farmer and I talked about that, you can roll her much faster than seven miles an hour. There. What a beautiful map. But yep, not much going on today in the Fury household. Uh, getting rested up for Monday's first day back on the farm, for real. Uh, we're gonna be planting some alfalfa. Um, I've already explained to him that I can help him. Basically, I'm going to help him Monday through Friday. And then because Friday night is still my multiplayer Friday. And I don't want to ruin that. So I can sleep in Saturday and then sleep in Sunday. And then get geared up to help him Monday again. We're going to be... First thing I got to do, they said, is um, I'm stacking bales. That's what I'm going to do. I started doing that. Uh, yesterday, and then I gotta start my, that's how I'm gonna start my day, I guess, stacking bales in a shed. I'm gonna try to get my GoPro set up, uh, so you guys can get some footage of Fury really farming, so it'll be kind of cool, um, providing I can find a place that sells batteries for my GoPro, uh, because my battery's been so dead for so long that I don't think it'll even turn on anymore. So if I can find that, and we'll be get I'll get some really good footage for you guys. That's right, these are just mechanical, aren't they? Awesome. All right, so let's get my cruise control set. And let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this back to 100% so that we can come. And we know that uh, it was only 50% starting, and we got, what, eight bales, right? So if we get 100%, we should get... At least 10 bales, I'm guessing, right? There. Now we can talk. in a regular shape field uh, but we also gained a little bit from the outside edges that I did mow which is kind of cool
go around in the corner, around in the corner. Squishing the grass down, making it nice and compact. Giving ourselves a fertilized state. Roll right over your sheepies. It's great. Like I said, this is what we're going to do. And we're going to make sure that... Uh, what we're going to do is make sure we get one field completely done. Because when you're dealing with grass, uh, especially with this season's uh, setup, uh, Farming Simulator 22 seasons, you don't have to worry about the grass like overgrowing or being too weird. Um, so you, uh, I can finish a grass field and go. Now when we do our harvest, what we'll do is we'll harvest one field, then we'll go harvest the, the next field and put it away, put the stuff away. Which is what you would normally do in, in with grass fields. You would mow all your grass, then you would tet all your grass, then you would pick all your grass, or you, you'd windrow all your grass, then bale all your grass, um, and then come back. Uh, but we're going to do things a little bit differently. We are going to uh, get one field completely done, like uh, mowed, baled, and then... Um, rolled and then we'll move on to the next field so it's just one extra step before you move on to the next field it is changing implements more than what you would but it's still fun it's still wish I had a little bit of a wider one but this would fit this field as I've killed my whole sheep pen <laughs> if I could make that turn I'm gonna certainly try I'm gonna certainly try to make it I know some of these grass fields are gonna need lime too Squishing the grass, squishing the grass, making it, making it down, making it matted down. Nope, really can't make the turn with it. This might be this tractor too. I bet you with the forty-two forty, I or forty-two twenty, I could with the JCB. <laughs> You know, I want to take a couple seconds and thank Farmer Z for the wonderful, kind, kind, kind words he said about me on his live stream on Wednesday. Gave me a bunch of kudos. Uh, I mean, just what a great guy. <laughs> Remember when I was seeding with course play and it was seeding like this? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny right there. I thought about throwing some, you know, time lapses up because uh, it's going to be it's it's going to be rough getting videos out late at night after I've worked all day. I haven't worked in years, let alone farming work. So Fury's going to be a little sleepy. So I thought about throwing some time lapses out there just to keep the farm going. You know, I can come in and uh, film a bunch of them. On certain days um, like my Friday night video will be recorded live that's my Friday night multiplayer um, and then my Sunday night can be done because I'll be home for that uh, for Monday but then I thought maybe a couple of times during the week just zipping out some time lapses I know you guys don't like them I know that I know you guys like it when I narrate and I talk but I don't want to, just like Farmer Z said, I don't want to get too far away from content. I got to still get out content. Um, I don't have, I mean, we, not just me. Uh, we don't have the luxury of 
many, 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 many family members to make up for the difference of dropping a video once a week or twice a week. So I've got to still pump out content. That's what uh, Farmer Z and I talked about, or we talk about in depth when you're a small channel like him and I are. You, you're, you're at the verge of you still have to pump out stuff so people keep coming back. Otherwise, you're such a small channel that people lose interest real quick. And we don't want that to happen. We want you guys to keep coming back. I've already had a bunch of people, <coughs> as I clear my throat, <coughs> Bill. <laughs> the guy's such an awesome dude. I like picking on him, though. He's, uh, did, did, are you going to drop a video, Fury? Are you going to drop a video? Um, like, <laughs> poor guy. I'm over on Farmer Z's stream, and he's asking if I'm dropping a video. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. I had to call you out because it was funny. I chuckled when I when I read your read your thing. Um, he means absolutely no harm by it, and he's a he's a he's a super dude. He has his own channel, so make sure you go over and check out United Bill Forty. He's a pretty good guy. Uh, he works on PlayStation, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, Bill, but I think you're on PlayStation, right? Correct. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm already getting people that are asking me, "Fear, you gonna drop a video today? Is there any video today?" So I, I don't want to get into, uh, because I'm going to be busy in my real life, I don't want to have to go and just drop one or two videos. I want to stay relevant. So I know you guys don't like time lapses. So would it be easier? This is what I'm going to throw out for you guys. I know you don't like the, uh, you guys have already told me several, several times don't like the time lapses on my channel anyways. So would you rather have me just for a couple of times play the game and then type at the bottom of it just so I can keep getting some content out or because I don't want to be up like right like right now being retired I don't mind being up until two three four o'clock in the morning and recording videos it doesn't bother me because I can sleep all day if I want uh, but once I'm obligated to help somebody and give them my words you guys know that Fury's a big one on respect and big one on words. Your word. Um, once you give your word to somebody that you're going to be there in the morning, you, you're there. So I don't want to be up until 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And when I got to get up at 4.30 in the morning to help him get hay stacked or uh, feed his animals or anything else he wants. So... Let me know in the comments. Please, please, please vote about it and be awesome about it. Be nice like you guys always are. Um, I know that you, like I said, oops, it's with that little tiny dot. <laughs> there. All right. So uh, we're going to lift. We're going to fold. We're going to jump out. We're going to say 100% fertilized. Needs plowing. They're, they're saying it's going to need plowing, which I will do next after next harvest because I want to plow the edges in. Not this time because it's done. All right, so let's go get water in our greenhouses and then start a harvest. Um, but, yeah, let me know in the comments if, if which way you guys want. Do you want me to... Uh, like come on and play for um you know a couple of hours just play and then speed it up to maybe like times two um or do you want me to um oh, see because i don't want to i mean i can still probably do it but that puts me up in the in the in the morning and i don't want to have it reflect in my videos if you know what i mean I don't want to have to, like, everybody enjoys my positive attitudes now, and um, I don't want to have to uh, have it show that I'm exhausted. So, let me know if that would be acceptable so you can see what's going on, and then when I come back on Friday, we'll have multiplayer, and then Sunday for Monday's video will be another narrated one, just for now. Um, I, I only obligated myself for the month of May. Uh, but if we go into it, what happened, everybody, is, you guys all know, 
that when my dad passed away, my mom didn't want to do the farm anymore. So what ended up happening was she rented out the farmland and the barns and all the equipment that dad had. So it's all the equipment I grew up with anyways uh, to a local farmer to take care of the land and all that stuff. And he's using the animal pens. He's got some cows and things. But I don't have anything to do with it. I live in the farmhouse, but he pays my mom rent for the land. They call it leasing. It's very, very prevalent up here in the East Coast. People lease land all the time. Uh, they pay a monthly fee or a yearly fee, depending on whichever way the farmer that owns the land wants to do it. But leasing fields in my area is absolutely something that people do because not everybody wants to buy a field. They just want to lease it. So, and what ends up happening is the people who lease the field, uh, they make enough um, so that it pays the taxes on the land and then they uh, they make a little few extra bucks, but it's never ever much. They barely break even with it because leases on fields aren't expensive. You know, but they at least it pays the taxes on the land and the farmer gets used to the stuff. So, I mean, they'll make a little bit extra, you know, a couple hundred dollars a year on a field that you're really doing nothing but just owning it anyways. Uh, but and you're still responsible for taxes. So it gives it gives the landowner I gotta there. It gives the landowner a chance to make a little bit of money too. Um and it also depends on the size of the field. Like when you get up to like our we have two sixty acre bean fields and then our forty acre um grass field, they're they're pretty decent sized fields. Um so I mean you look at this field over here on our right, let me get out here a little bit. That's only a 10-acre field, so it's six times the size of that in real life. So, but I obligated through the month of May. What happened was, is the poor guy, the poor farmer, lost seven of his workers to COVID. All went out at the same time. And he came over, and I kept, for like a week straight, I didn't see any workers. I was like, "Where? where's all your helpers? Uh, this was Monday, Monday, Sunday or Monday. I was talking to him, um, and I said, "So where's all your workers?" He said, "I don't have any right now." So, and you guys know, you guys know how Fury is. Um, I just off, offered to help, and I said, um, "Let me get my boots on and help you out, and do it from there." Uh, we've also decided that we're going to do lettuce in all of these. hoping that I did this correctly picked the right one so it didn't charge me and then I think I can go here and just back up into it and we'll go through and we'll activate them all with lettuce so I've been watching virtual farmer on that but anyways getting back to my um story so I don't want to go too much longer because I after all I am retired I don't want to go crazy working hard but me being, you know, farmers stick together in real life. They really do. So when there's somebody who has an issue, and let's face it, nobody, none of us enjoyed this stupid COVID. None of us did. I've had it. Um, Grizzly Bear Sims has had it. Um, Farmer Z's been sick, but he's never had the COVID. But, it, you know, in this day and age, how do you know that it wasn't COVID? You know what I mean? Whoops. That would be a broken axle. <laughs> See how you just it just feels like we're being more productive? We really are. We we got our field finished baling over there. We got the bales picked up and fed to the sheep. We got the field rolled and whoops. And we got our greenhouses full now. We're getting ready to start harvesting. I sure as heck hope that I don't drive tractors like this in the morning. <laughs> well, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put our... Jump out, and we're going to get all of these set up at the same time. 
bang. Okay, lettuce active, lettuce active, lettuce active. Boom. There we go. Now we'll start collecting pallets. Now let's go grab our wagon and head over to the field and start harvesting. Get this. Hopefully we can get both these fields done before the end of today. And the nice thing is we'll be able to sell the bales. But I want to be sure that we get all the equipment bought before I get rid of the money. I want to absolutely be sure that we don't need anything else. Or, I mean, once we're done. Right now we only got a couple of pieces of equipment. It's only been a couple hours. But before this day is over. Oh, okay. So it used to be. Oh, I know why. All right, everybody, I figured it out. Okay, so you know how it's normally end to open up the trailer, the, the top off the trailer. But because I have this mod where I hit N and I'm allowed to repair my trailers and stuff, now I have to hit Z. Now it makes sense why everybody was probably screaming at their screens going, hit the end button, Fury, hit the end button. <laughs> Never ends. All right, so now that we can't utilize... Oh, you know what? It also did. I got one door half open. So that is... I can't remember which one it is here. There it is. There we go. Yeah, because this one, this one opens that. That's cool. All right, so we're going to shut that off. We're going to get harvesting. I'm making sure I got my straw. All right, got it all set. And lower, and start her up, and hit our cruise. And away we go. So this is exciting. We're starting to harvest something different. So see, we are still moving along at the same pace, but it, now it just feels a lot more real. And then I will get done and harvesting this field, and start harvesting the next field. And I will come through and cut down all the trees um, off camera um, at the end of the day or end of, no, I might do it if I got time. So I want to keep our time as even as I can go. But see how much you gain. And then, just like the other times, once these once these trees are cleared out, those are all going to be, uh, we can make those into silage bales and sell the silage. But this gives me a chance to sell straw, sell wheat, um, as well as making silage bales. So this field will be super productive. And that's what you want to try to do, is maximize the... Uh, I was watching uh, Mighty Mike's video today, and he was actually did some figuring on camera where he was talking about how he actually lost money on the field. So, it's pretty cool. Like this, down through here. It's done. Raise this up. We go again. Get past the straw, lower it down, hit the cruise. We're actually going to get quite a bit out of this field. Um, I'm guessing probably about 20,000 off this field and probably, I think we got 16,000 last time off the last, the other field. So I'm guessing about 40,000 liters is what I'm guessing. You know, I'm pretty good about guessing. But see, that sheep field is done now. Now we can set it and forget it. We're done. Let the sheep just graze. They've got their food. Um, I do believe, uh, after a quick tutorial from Russell, I think that once your animals are into the uh, and full on one day months, I think you only have to take care of them once every couple of couple of days. Maybe I don't know. We'll we'll keep an eye on it. We'll check it. And, uh, but yeah, Multiplayer Friday will be normal time, normal recording time, because that's my one day I don't have to worry about anything. So all of you guys, uh, stay posted for that. 
please, 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 if you feel it necessary to join, and you want, well, necessary, if you want to join, uh, all the game, all the mods are on the in-game mod hub, and you must let me know that you're going to join. If Farmer Z owns, I also sent out an uh, invitation to Mad Dog, aka Vic, good, good, good friend of mine from GG Modding. So I'm going to leave one spot open for him. Um, so we really only got, and I'm going to leave one spot open for Farmer Z. Uh, because the good news is, what I'm excited about, uh, is Farmer, Street, Farmer Z will be live streaming our multiplayer. And I will be recording it. So it's going to be really, really, really cool to get a recording and a live stream at the same time. So that'll give him free content, me free content, and he's a legend. And if he leaves his mic open, we'll be able to talk. You'll be able to hear us on his stream as well. So you can go check him out live if he goes live um, on Friday night, and you'll you'll hear Fury's video or video, and then Saturday I'll drop a video uh, for the recorded version. So it'll be kind of cool. You'll get. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, as I inhale a fly, um, you'll get my version on, from my perspective, and then you'll get his version from his perspective. But you'll be able to hear us all on camera and stuff. It'll be kind of neat, actually. I'm really super excited. Um, and I've told him already that if he if he's got his single player, and he's got some big, 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 big news, big news coming um, for his channel. He's got like a huge story on One Man's Land coming. Instead of No Man's Land, it's gonna be called One Man's Land. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of cool. I'm excited. If you go, if you guys want to go over to Farmer Z and check out his first couple of videos on that, he he actually got Sam Elliott to narrate for him. So the first story mode is Sam Elliott um, narrating, and I thought, wow, how absolutely awesome is that <laughs> fantastic dude the farmer z is super smart super compu uh, computer savvy he works a real job in real life so uh but he's been working more at home lately um so he's gonna start doing some more streams but the offer for him is, I've always told him, you can stream or record on my on my multiplayer. It gives him free content. Um, he's got Elk Mountain going on right now, and then he's going to have One Man's Land. So he's got a lot going on, too. Plus, he works. Uh, make sure you check out Ian's Outdoor channel. He's, got, he's an up-and-coming YouTuber. He goes on PS4 or PS5. I'm not quite sure, Ian. Make sure in the comment you let me know which, which one you're on. Uh, he just got himself a mic, so he's super spoiling us with hearing his, what I would guess would be a Scottish accent. Um, and the only reason I say that is because my wife's from Scotland and I recognize that accent. Um, she's from Glasgow, Scotland, 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 or whatever, however you say it, Scotland. It's more like we say, like here in the States, we say Scotland, and uh, they say Scotland. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, that's kind of cool. My wife, um, when she first moved to the States, uh, her grandfather moved to the States. Um, they moved to the South. They were from, well, the Midwest, Kansas. Um, and so, this is going to stop here soon, so... Perfect. Um, she had a really bad, when I first met her, we've been married 35 years, 36 years now. Um, she had a really bad Scottish accent. And I'm from New York, so I'm from New York. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Let's see if I can spill half of it on the ground. Technically, all that wheat would be going right on the ground with that. There. Just to make sure it's done right. Okay, so there is 
10,500 already. And like I said, I'm guessing 20,000 off this field. That's what I'm guessing. Which may or may not happen. May happen. If we get 20,000 and then another 16 off of the other field, hey, 36,000, I'll take it. And away we go for round number three. And now, once we get up here, we will start going back and forth. There. So I'm excited. Um, Farmer Z is, a, is becoming a good friend of mine. Uh, Ian's going right along. Um, let's see who else. I haven't heard from Creighton in a while. I haven't seen a video from Creighton Gaming in a while. Uh, who else? Uh, I did talk to Grizzly Bear Sims. He's, uh, he had COVID really bad. Uh, so he's just taking some time off to be with the family. And he was real sick um, with it. But he's all better now. And he's just taking some time to himself. He will come out and drop some videos. But you know what? Here's the truth. As I told him. Uh, I want him to take the time and get his head right. Because who wants to put out videos when you're just getting over being sick? You know? So nobody wants that. Now, I did lower the header down uh, from an 8.6 to 7.3. 8.7 to 7.6. Try to keep my straw going. There we go. Get up just past the straw bin. And let's go. Straw swaths would be the proper terminology for that, but we used to call them straw bins. <laughs> it's absolutely not even a realistic term, but that's what we called it. It's like we used to call headlands rounds. Um, the proper terminology is a headland, uh, but Dad always called it a round because guess what? You're going around the field. So when he always would say, okay, do four rounds, you would automatically know you had to go four times around the field. But the proper terminology is headlands. And I think it's headlands, not headlands. But because nobody really knows how the proper terminology is, I think it's just headlands. <laughs> Perfect. Got about six minutes left, and I'll bet you I can get a another pass done. Yeah, we would call um, the headlands rounds, and we would call the up and downs passes. Well, right now we got 10,000, about 14,000. We're doing good. That's what I said. I'm wondering how close I'm going to be. I guess 20. Well, I guarantee it's going to be over 20 because this is going to be full again before we get done with this field. But, man, see, see how much more productive it is? And now, being only one-day months, every hour that goes by is making us, like, pallets and stuff. So what we could do is if, when we get everything, like, uh caught up and everything then uh we get all our fields planned and you know you come to that point in every let's play and you come to that point in every farm where there's not much going on so then you get up first thing you do is you feed your animals you add your water to your greenhouses then you take your pallets from your greenhouses down sell them take your wool down sell them take your silage bales down um and sell them and that's another day and remember on one day months it only takes three in-game days for get this up three in-game days to have your grass fields ready to go again you can technically mow them after two and since i have the real mowing mod on i can mow it after one you just won't get 
uh, you won't get the yield that you get. Like, you know how we got eight bales off that first field? Um, you'll probably only get like two. So you want to at least get two months on growing. Um, but the truth be known in real life, if you let, like, let's just look at your grass out in your front yard. If you mow that today, what is today? April, let me look at my watch. April 29th now, okay? And then you went May 29th, June 29th, and didn't mow it again. That thing would be waist high in two months. So, which is exactly, well, if you look at the reality is if you get, if a, if a farmer gets, tries to get at least three cuts a year, uh, and generally we mow from uh, probably middle of April, because then it's pretty much dried out by then, middle of April, beginning of May. Um, and then we, uh, June, July, and then we mow again in July, then August, September. And if you get, you can try to get a third cut off of it, probably at the end of October. Or fourth cut sometimes if you're doing right. If you guys also see what I'm doing is a little trick that I learned a long time ago that my dad taught me. Um, you see how at the end of each row is not that big giant pile? What you do is you would, you start to slow down the harvester at about five to six feet left and you just kind of creep it along at like one mile an hour. And then when you, right when you get to the end of it, you raise your header and you keep going so that you're moving and then you don't get those giant piles at the end so that when you're bailing it, you can just go right through it. It's great. And contrary to belief, you, you, you normally would win row um, a couple of rows of these together to bail it. But we're not going to. We're not going to on this map. I'm going to try to get down and back, and then we'll end the video. Well, we're approaching our 20,000 limit, just like Fury said. So probably more like 14,000 off the, or 34,000 off this map. So we're going to get another 10. Right here is what I'm talking about. See how I start to slow down, and then I'm literally just creeping along. Then when I hit the end, I raise it, and I keep driving through it. See, and it eventually will stop right about there. And then you get the nice smooth end to bail with. All right, I think that's going to be a good spot for me to end it right there. Because I want to be able to say my goodbyes. All right, so let's shut this off. All right, everybody, so, whoops. There we go, nice and quiet now. Be sure to look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's families. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. Hit the little notification ding, ding bell to get notified when Fury's dropping a video. And be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And as soon as it hits 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, we'll shut it off. See how I have no big lumps or anything? You can just bail right over that, it's nice. Um, we got a lot done today, so we finished baling our grass field. We got the bales off there. We rolled it. We got all our water for our greenhouses set up. And we started harvesting our first field. And we're almost done harvesting our first field. And on that note, Fury Machine is out. He's done. As Farmer Z would say, Farmer Z out. Fury Machine out. I'll catch you all tomorrow for Multiplayer Friday. Woohoo! Make sure you guys sign up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love each and every one of you. Have a great Thursday night.